Hey guys, this is just a video a review on my rod and reel combo that I bought. Um, first of all, I want to say that I'm using a new camera. Uh, this is actually take two of the video, so I sort of played the first one, and uh, it's not as good quality as my iPad, which is what I was uploading videos on before, and my voice isn't as clear, but uh, I'll try to do the best I can, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I'll just get right into it. This is, uh, I guess I'll start with the rod. It's a Shimano rod. It's a Shimano Sojourn, I believe is how you pronounce that. S-O-J-O-U-R-N. I think it's Sojourn. I'll start back here. It's got a really nice cork handle. Really, really nice. It's got a really nice, um, ring for, uh, mounting your reel, your reel seat, really nice reel seat, nice ring. Uh, a lot of rods have this black part and this red part would actually be two separate pieces and this one would just slide over this part of the reel link here and then this part would just tighten it up which I don't really like. This one is grooved all the way around so that it'll just, you just twist it on works a lot better, a lot easier. Uh, it's got a little foam, I guess you would call it a fighting pad, or I guess, yeah. <laughs> uh, some specs, it's a 6 foot 6 rod, uh, it works best with uh, mono line 6 to 14 pound. Power Pro, I think what they must mean is a braided line, 10 to 20 pound. Lure weight is best uh, 1 8 to 5 8 ounce lure weight and it's a medium power and a fast action uh, it's got a few scuffs and scratches but you know it's a little bit old or I guess it's a little bit older but it works I got it a year ago or so uh, it's got six eyelets and uh, it goes together quite nicely here one complaint I do have is that when I first got this rod, I don't know if it's because I wasn't putting it on tight enough, but it would work for, you know, 10 or 15 casts, and then I cast once, and this whole thing would come off and go out in the water, and I just have to reel it in. So I don't know. I still like it though. Uh, it's quite a, actually, really solid rod. What I mean is it's really stiff, and uh, it's good for hook sets and small fish which is what I use for fish, I'm used to fishing trout, so it's really good for hook sets on small fish. Um, I know when I go fishing with other people, and uh, a lot of times they have bendier rods than this, more flexible, and they don't get as many solid hook sets as me. Uh, not bragging, I'm just saying, it's, I think it's because of their rod. So that's the rod. Um, I guess I'll get into the reel here. So, I actually got this combo for, I think it was $89 Canadian, I live in Canada. So I think it was 89 bucks for the combo. Uh, here's the reel. Um, very good reel. A few complaints though, I guess, is, uh, it, um, it jammed up on me before. Twice, I believe it jammed up on me. It was almost like, well, it didn't fully jam, but it was uh, uh, really gritty and hard to reel. And it's almost like some rocks or sand might have got in here in the bearings or something. But it's been fine ever since I took it all apart and um, blew it out with the air compressor and stuff. It's worked good ever since. It's got a rear drag, which means just your drag set knob, or yeah, your drag set knob is on the back which is actually really comfortable for when I'm fighting bigger fish like shad. Well, I guess I consider them bigger fish. You guys might not because I'm used to fishing brook trout. So, uh, it actually works pretty good for when I'm fighting them. Uh, it's a 2500 size reel. Shimano Sienna 2500RD for rear drag. Uh, this part, just, uh, your spool just pops right off. Push of a button. <laughs> Literally, and uh, just goes on here. The bale flips open, nothing special. 
and uh, so that's my review on uh, Shimano Rod and Reel combo. Uh, so uh, comment what you think of the new camera, yay or nay, and uh, thanks. Have a good one.